baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. All right, y'all, we're back. Let's see how this melted. Very nice, very nice. All right, very cute. We love it. All right, so we're gonna do a middle part. We're gonna do a middle part and I'm gonna let you guys watch me style her. like that we have a curly unit it's so so pretty so soft y'all already know i love icy hair you guys need this unit especially for the summertime we getting in pools we going on vacation we want to get our hair wet you want to still look cute so pretty y'all know i never wear my curly hair pulled to the side and I'm gonna try it. My little sister always wear her hair like this when she do her curly units. She wear it with a part on the side and I think it's the cutest thing ever. So I just wanna see. And y'all see how easy it is to switch it up. This does have like versatile parting so you can do middle part or side part. So we love that. What y'all think? Y'all like middle or side? Y'all let me know down in the comments. But I'll have all the information along with the discount code in the description box. Good morning, girl. Good morning. Today is Thursday. And I am getting ready to go to this restaurant in St. Augustine that I was invited to. And I started not to go because it's like a fried chicken spot. And I don't really do fried food like that. I'm assuming that it's a new chicken spot. Um, the representative of this chicken joint reached out to me and invited me out. And of course I get to bring a plus one so me and my husband, we're gonna go and I'm gonna take y'all with me. So like I said, it's in St. Augustine. I've never heard of it before. I did look them up on Instagram. They have two in New Jersey. Let me check it again. Two in New Jersey. No, they have one in New Jersey 
three in New York. So they have one in Queens, Staten Island, and downtown Flushing, and now they have one here. Well, it's in St. Augustine, but it's still on their Instagram, it says Jacksonville. So we're gonna go check them out. The name of the place is called Crispy Burger. And they just have like a whole bunch of like fried chicken, chicken sandwiches, um, like the chicken drumettes and all, you know, the whole chicken thing. So I said, why not? I mean, it's gonna go straight to my ass, but <laughs> I still check it out, okay? So we're gonna do that today. And like I said, I'm gonna take you guys with me. So I'm just doing a little bit of makeup. You guys have seen me do my makeup several times. My camera get ready to die. I need to change my battery. But I'll pick you guys back up once I get dressed. Yes, I cut the unit in this short bob. I showed it last night on Instagram. Everybody loved it. It did turn out really, really cute. So yeah, we like this. I'll pick y'all back up once we get dressed. All right, y'all, so here's the look. Um, blazer H&M. This top right here is from H&M. This is like the long sleeves that come two in a pack. The shorts are from H&M. Gucci crossbody and Axel Arrogato trainers and Amazon watch. And these glasses are old from Free People. So, y'all know my vibe already. I've been dressing like this forever. I either wear a blazer, a set, or a button down. That's just my vibe. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the look. And I'm getting ready to go on Instagram and let them help me decide which sunglasses to wear. But I do really like these. So... Let's go to the chicken joint. place is really small but it is new because they don't even have their permanent sign yet they still have the little like banner type sign so I have to get some content for them but I'll try to set y'all up so y'all can see it too okay y'all so we're here and he's just gonna make us some um, random stuff um, they gave us like a hundred and fifty dollar voucher there's no possible way we can eat that much and most of the stuff we'll probably take to go anyway we just want to make sure that we get the content for them gotta make it look extra cute making plays to be crashing yeah 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 don't need to be on the scene we are the scene trip the weather from head to toe la baby me yeah i get what's mine that's from my
three different stores which is crazy before we do that i know y'all can't only see my bottom half but i just want to tell y'all so i've been experiencing a little bit of bloating right so i looked it up and if you guys noticed on the video yesterday like my stomach was bloated like it was bloated and like i said i looked it up on tiktok and went to one of my little trusty doctors on there and they said to drink peppermint tea which i drink peppermint tea anyway i usually just mix it with my green tea like at night but it said to drink it in the morning like twice a day and y'all i went to the gym this morning like right now my stomach feels so tight i didn't do anything that i don't normally do except for drinking the peppermint tea this morning look at my stomach now, if y'all go back and look at that clip, my stomach was bloated. It feels so tight. I had I needed some more green tea because I drink green tea. And then I also buy peppermint tea. So I just bought this brand right here, which I usually buy this brand. And this is the organic brand. Um, but I'll be doing that twice a day because I'm telling y'all, my stomach feels so tight right now like it just feels so tight and i like it okay <laughs> all right so let's get to this grocery store haul i went to oh my goodness girl this is this uh watermelon had a wild ride okay with me trying to get this stuff in the house i went to three different stores because i was looking for my, I hate when this happens. I was looking for my cookie butter non-dairy creamer and I could not find it. And I haven't seen it for a few days. Like every time I've went, the last few times I went to the store, I haven't been able to find it, but I found it today in Sprouts. So I'm gonna lay this stuff out and then I'll share with you guys everything that I picked up. Okay, y'all. So, we're back on the camera. And this is everything that I picked up from the store. This is three stores. I went to Publix first, then Whole Foods, and Sprouts. Most of the groceries are from Publix because I got, like, produce. Watermelon, cantaloupe, red potatoes, cabbage, celery, ranch, lemons, banana nut bread, blueberries, sandwich meat seafood salad, tea, spinach, greens, wrap, flour, rest juice, kombucha, pomegranate juice, creamer, OJ, and cheese puff. I got these from Whole Foods, but I think the packaging changed. I'm not too sure if these are the ones that I like, but y'all know I love those little cheese puffs from Whole Foods, but I could have sworn the packaging looked different, so we'll see if these are the ones. This back here, that's stuff that we already had, but 
I'm going to do some greens and cabbage mixed tonight. Um, so I'll probably get that started a little bit later. And then I was watching some different meals on TikTok. And this girl had these roasted potatoes and they looked so good. So I was thinking about doing some of these with some um, salmon one of these days. I don't know if it'll be today. And then I thought these roses were so pretty. They're the small ones. But I slammed them in my trunk. So some of the roses broke off the stems. I was so hurt. They're so pretty. They're little. So thought that was cute. And then I've never tried this pomegranate kombucha. So we're going to try this today. So yeah, that's everything I picked up from the store. I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff up and get my day started. Update on the chips. These are not it. These are not it because the cheese look, they're like Cheetos, but they're whole food brand. These are not it. These don't taste bad and they're gluten free, but these are not it. That whole food brand, the ones that say whole food on the back, I could not find them. So I was like, I, did they change their packaging? But those are so good. Y'all know I was addicted to those for a while. Those are my little car snacks. I kept them in my car. But these are not it. I forgot to show y'all my favorite wine. Yes, I did start back drinking wine, but I only drink wine like on the weekends. I usually don't do like cocktails and stuff like that, like the heavy liquor. Yeah, y'all know this is my favorite. If you guys are red wine drinkers, y'all get this. This brand, it has to be this brand. It's so good. It has like a hint of sweetness. I really, really like it. Y'all know I've been getting this for years, so it's good. Good morning. Today is Saturday. I just finished doing my makeup and now I'm doing my hair. I'm adding some of this Cantu Comeback Curl on this unit. Y'all, I've been getting so many questions about this unit. And it is from, it's from Sumber Hair. I thought it was from You Nice Hair, but I went back and looked at the video so I could get the link for a couple of girls. And it's from Sumber, but they will be sending me a short curl, curly bob for those of you that's not that good at cutting. Um, they'll be sending one, so y'all look out for that video. But, um, here is this out. It's got some suds in it, and I don't know what that's for. Some little concoction my son probably whipped up. So, y'all, last night I did some furniture moving. Um, I can just whip my hand. Um, I'm going to go to my storage unit today and grab some stuff out of there. I, Y'all know I had that white chair. I had that in my bedroom. Y'all don't see my bedroom, but it's not done anyway. But I had the chair in my bedroom and then the couch in my other room. And I told y'all before that I'm like over that couch. Like, it's just so big. And... I don't know, I'm just like so over it, but I'm trying to use it until I find something else, which I haven't been like actively looking for something, but I know I'm gonna get rid of that couch. So I was telling Tony last night, I'm like, I just wanna throw it out. He talking about, you better give it to somebody, I don't just throw it out. But I don't think I would just throw it like on the curb. But I put the chair back in there with the couch and I'm kind of feeling it. The way that I have it set up, I'm kind of feeling it. Um, I feel good about it. And now I think I can decorate around it. So y'all know how I am. I'm real picky, okay? That's the first thing. Let's start there. I'm very picky. I like things to look a certain way. 
and I also get bored with my decor. I don't want to nail a bunch of holes in the wall. I know a lot of people use the command strips and whatever else. Yeah, that things don't work for me. I don't know if I'm not doing it right, but I don't know. They just don't work for me. I haven't tried them since I've been here. But um, today, once I go to the storage unit, I'm gonna pull out my tall planter. Y'all know that tall planter that I have. I have the really tall tree in it. I'm gonna pull that out. I'm gonna put that one up front is the plan. Um, I'm gonna take a few things too. I gotta let my hair dry before I can style it. But um, I'm gonna take a few things to the storage and then I wanna go to an antique shop to see if I could find some cute little things. So that is the plan for today. Right now, my husband and my son are at the barber shop. So I have to wait for him because of course he has to go to the storage with me. So, um, yeah, like I said, that is the plan for today. Once my hair dries, it'll puff back up. So I like to let it dry like going this way. So then once it's dry, it'll kind of stand up once I do the flip over. So yeah, we're gonna just let that dry. It is cute. I've been getting so many compliments on my hair. It's super cute. I don't know what I'm gonna put on today, but I know I want it to be something comfortable. Y'all, I have been taking the Black Girl Vitamins, Vitamin D3, and my hair, skin, and nail vitamins. They taste so good. Gummies are always dangerous for me because they taste so good. And if you guys don't know, I love gummies. So, <laughs> but they're really good. I'll have a link in the description box if you guys want to try them out, ladies. We need our D3 for sure. Um, they have. They have other ones. They have iron. I, I take prescribed iron pills. They have, um, they have like a bunch of different ones. You just gotta go on, a, not a bunch, but y'all gotta just go on the website. They have, depending on, you know, your needs or whatever. So, yes. Um, I want to show y'all this soap. This is what I use right now for my scars up under my breast when I got my breast reduction. But I wanted to kind of work on the color, the discoloration of the scars because they are pretty dark. So I had found this soap and it's a skin lightening soap right here. This is how, well this is the box right here and this is how the bar of soap look. And it comes to in this box. I actually found this off of a girl on um, TikTok and she was just sharing about dark marks. Well, y'all know I had that one dark mark right there from when I had my little hormonal breakout and I, it left a mark and I cannot get rid of that dark spot. She was just talking about some products that she recommended and she spoke really highly about this one. I bought the cream and I've just been like at night just rubbing it on there. She said it works really fast, so we'll see. And then I bought the bar for up under my breast. It smells so good. Like these, it's the same brand, but something about the way that this soap smells, I'm just like, oh, I wish they had like a regular one. This is a Korean brand too, by the way. So y'all know their skincare has been like the buzz lately. But the way that this smells, it just smells so clean, so fresh. I love the way that this smells. So I'm like, I'm gonna go see if they just have like a regular soap, like a body soap or something like that, like regular that doesn't have the, I think this has that, um, what is that? Um, let me see. The Kojic, Kojic Acid. That's what this has in it. So I want to find something to just have, it's just a regular bar soap that you could just use every day, any time of the day. But if you guys have tried this, y'all let me know if it worked for you. But like I said, I'm using a cream for my little dark spots. I'm just kind of spot correcting right here. I'm not putting it all over my face. 
And then this, like I said, for my scars under my breast. And I've only been using it for like three days, so I haven't really noticed a difference just yet. But I'll link it in the description box below because the reviews were pretty good. And then the girl who was on TikTok, her skin looks amazing. And she said that it worked really well. So she had a few different ones. And it, it wasn't like one of those videos where they were trying to sell something in the TikTok shop. That's one thing about the TikTok shop. Like, yeah, some of the stuff you like, okay, you keep seeing it over and over again. You want to go ahead and try it. Like I bought the... Um, I bought some vitamins. Well, I see what I usually do. I don't actually purchase from the TikTok shop because I wasn't too sure like how that was working with your information and stuff like that. But if I keep seeing it, then I'm like, okay, I'll go ahead and give it a try. And then I'll just go find it on Amazon. Um, that's one thing about the TikTok shop. You just never know if they're trying to make a quick buck or if this stuff really works. She wasn't selling none of it on her TikTok shop. She just was doing a skincare routine. Her face was glowing and looking real good. And people keep asking her the products that she recommend. And those are the products that she recommend. What she didn't like was this. And this is one that I just got, the Good Molecules, the Discoloration Correcting Serum, which I have used this before because I remember when it went viral on TikTok, when I first was on TikTok and I bought it and I used all of it. But I used like a mixture of things so I could never tell you like which one got the job done because I know I switched my stuff up. So, yeah. So, let me show y'all what we got so far in the room. Um, and that's just my rooms that I use for different things. I get dressed in there. Um, my little sister sleeps in there. If my other son comes over, he spends the night in there. Um, I just do anything in there. That's just like my extra room. It's supposed to be for my content, but I just use it for different reasons. So I don't really have a name for the room. In the last place, I called it my, my woman cave. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys in the room and just show you guys there's nothing in there but my tv and the, the two couches but the setup I'm, I'm feeling it like i feel good when i walk in there i like it and i feel like i can do a little one too now that i have the chair and the couch in there and when they reached out to me and i saw it online i fell in love with it but when they brought it to me it wasn't the right color it's a white couch which I would never purchase a white couch, like never. It was supposed to be um, like a really light beige, close to the color that I have up front and it wasn't. So I was just stuck with this big couch in my room, which I like the style of the couch. I just don't like the color. I just don't like the color. I know I can get it real postered and all that stuff, but girl, who gonna do that? I'm not doing all that. And on top of that, it's just huge. It's the pit, the pieces are huge. It's like you need one or the other. So I've just been like really struggling with it. Now in my other place, I still felt like it was huge. I used to tell y'all that all the time. It's just so big and bulky, but I just dealt with it. <laughs> and now I'm just over it. So, and it's really hard to keep clean. The chair, because it was in our bedroom, it was easy for me to keep clean because, you know, I know how to sit on it. I know how I know to put a blanket down, whatever, but the couch, Khalila sleeps on the couch. My son, when he come over, he sleep on the couch. Or he come over here, he's sitting on the couch. His friend's on the couch. Like, it's just a lot on the couch, okay? And, and it's hard for me to keep it clean. Now, in the other place, I didn't really have to deal with that all that much because Khalila had a blow-up mattress at the other place. But the blow-up mattress got a hole in it. That was like the third mattress that I had purchased. I'm not buying no more blow-up mattresses. So now, they just sleep on the couch which I'm gonna put a stop to that. I'm gonna clean that couch. I'm gonna try to clean that couch one more time. I bought some more cleaner. And then if I can't clean it, I might get it professionally clean because I think you can get it professionally clean for like $59 or something like that. So I'm go if I can't do it myself, I'm gonna try to do it probably later on tonight. But um, if I still just don't, because I get aggravated with stuff like that. And to me, 
Like it's the same thing with, y'all remember when I had the carpet. Like if the carpet looked dirty to me, it's just like everything looked dirty. It don't matter how clean everything could be. If that carpet dirty, everything looked dirty. The, if that couch is dirty, it just, it, it's just, it aggravates me so bad. Y'all leave in the comments if y'all like it. Y'all know what I mean. To other people, they're like, oh, it's not dirty. Like when I used to get my um, carpet cleaned in other places, they're like, your carpet wasn't even dirty. To me, like I could see, if I could see like a trail or something like that, it, it just, everything, just looks dirty. <laughs> I can't explain it, okay? Yeah, the carpet wasn't filthy. Now, it wasn't nasty, but it was dirty. Even though I make people take their shoes off at the door and everything like that, it's just, sometimes it still gets like that. But anyway, so like I was saying, I am gonna try to clean the couch today. If I can't get it cleaned, then I'll probably get it professionally cleaned. And then they're gonna have to start, um, Acting like they got some sense, <laughs> okay? Acting like they know, okay? That I uh uh no, and I don't because I don't be wanting to be that person. Like uh, I don't be sitting on my couch, you know. I don't be wanting to be like that. But y'all know before the couch will stay clean for as long as I need it to stay clean because I ain't. I'm not gonna just be sitting on the couch with juice and all. Like I'm not doing that. Not saying like they on the couch with juice and stuff like that. But like my son might come up here, he got jeans on. Kalila lay stuff on the couch. But you know, my son, he come over here, he's sitting on the couch. He might have jeans on. He... No. Mm -mm. And I'd be mad. No, I'm just like, cause I'm so over the couch. I don't even, I don't say nothing. So that's why, Ugh, girl, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. So, where's my little peas? My little Michael Jackson peas. Okay, I think that's it. This is so cute. Okay, let me let it dry so it can act right. All right, let's go in here and I'll just show you guys the vibe and the dirty couch. I have the dirty couch over here. <laughs> I just set this over here because I want something bold and grand. Right, I want something that's just big. I've been into like massive pieces, right? So I just put that up there just to see the vibe that I'm looking for, which I am mad at that, but I just don't really like it on this brown table, but I'm not mad at it. So I just left it up there, but it is giving me what I need for right now. And then I just catty cornered this chair and like if I want to just come over here, sit by the window, have some quiet time, I'm feeling the vibe, okay? And then if I want to watch TV, I'll sit on the dirty couch. But I'm, I'm feeling this. Like I'm, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this. I have to have a TV in here. Like I just, I have to have a TV in here. And before I was thinking about doing the TV on this wall right here, but it has this little ugly thing right here and it drives me nuts. This, and then I can't flip the cushions. I know somebody like, just flip the cushion. I can't. Girl, it's up and it's stuck, okay? <laughs> I think I'm gonna fix myself a little bit of lunch today. I've told y'all about this lemon pepper chicken breast from Publix. Get it, okay? It's so good. If you haven't tried it, try it. I tried to put y'all on a long time ago. I haven't had it in a while, but it's delicious. It's boar's head, by the way. And then the boar's head mystique roasted turkey breast was on sale yesterday, so I got some of this too. But I'm getting ready to make me a little turkey wrap really quick. Y'all, we still have chicken from that chicken spot. The other chicken we took to Tony's mom house because his little cousins and stuff are there. So the wings, like nobody touched them. Y'all know I don't eat like this. Wing, one fried wing. And then I had a bite of the chicken sandwich and that was it. Like I can't, it have to be like super, like the flavors have to be really good. And this place was just, it was just okay. It was just okay. So because I know no one's gonna eat this and it's been in the refrigerator since Thursday, I'm gonna throw it away. I'm also thinking about 
selling one of my cameras because I think I want to go back to Canon. I've been filming on my son's G7X when um, him and his ex-girlfriend were doing YouTube. And y'all know, I told y'all I love the G7X. Like that was like my favorite camera. First of all, it was my first camera and I bought that camera like three different times. Um, I bought the first one, I think it broke. I bought it again. And then when Ryan started his channel and he wanted a camera, I sold it to him half price so he wouldn't have to pay full price for a brand new camera. So I sold him my second camera and then I bought it again and then it finally broke. So like the lens didn't come out or something cause I dropped it so much. But um, I think I wanna get another Canon, but I don't want to just buy it and then I still have two. Well, y'all know my last Canon broke, just recently broke, and I've had that camera longer than I had my G7X because I had that M50 for so long, but I never used it. I bought the, the M50 to record my mukbangs on, so I wanted to have two cameras, and I bought the M50, and then I just couldn't figure out the settings, so I just left it alone for uh for years and then i finally brought it out and i just fell in love with it all over again um and then that broke on me because i dropped it and it just like completely shattered i was oh, i was so hurt oh i was so hurt so now i have two sony's i have the e the sony zv1 and then i have the sony ev10 i think let me see yeah, this is the Sony ZV-1 4K camera, very nice camera. And then I upgraded that one to the Sony ZV-E10 and then I bought this lens to go on it. Um, so I'll probably sell this one which is a good starter camera. All the girlies use this one. I think this is like everybody's first camera that they buy now. Um, I think this camera is like seven something. So I'll probably sell it for like five. It does, it's nothing wrong with the camera. The camera is in perfect condition. I do have like the little piece to go here, like the little, um, what do they call that? Like fuzzy cat or whatever. I do have it. And then it has like a little bit of, I got a little bit of paint or something on it. Let me show y'all. But I probably can scrub that off. I got a little bit of paint on it. The battery's dead or I would turn it on, but perfect condition. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nothing wrong with this camera at all. The only, oh, let me see. Oh, it has like a little, let me show y'all. It has like a little crack right here. Let me turn it on. Let me go get a battery because there's no battery or SD card. Let me see. And I'll throw in two batteries and the little charger port or whatever. These batteries on these cameras die so quick. I don't even know if these batteries charged up or not. That's why you have to have like backup um, batteries for sure. Because they die. See? It works. And then flip out. And I have this, um, I had this tripod with it where you can control the camera through this, um, but I use this tripod still. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, we'll do cash out. I'll sell it for $500 and you can get you a camera that is $700. <laughs> But it's a good deal because like I said, y'all know I take care of my stuff. Y'all been following me for a while. Y'all know I'm not a hoot, okay? I take care of my things. Exactly. 
all right y'all so i just left the storage unit i grabbed a few things y'all see the plant back there um now i am sitting in the car tony went inside rose he said that his co-worker told him about um a movie and he wanted to watch the movie and eat some seafood so i guess i'm not going to the antique shop today but i will pick you guys up whenever we do go um i want to say they're closed on sundays i'm not too sure but y'all will see it on the next video so I'm going to just go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I am Sharika B and TikTok. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.